Jesus, we thank you this morning. We remember your body broken for us. How fabulous is that? That you would come and break your body. So we, we break this bread this morning. And we declare that we agree that by your stripes we are healed. So we eat this bread this morning, remembering your sacrifice, remembering your, the offering of your flesh on our behalf. And so we choose to say, by your stripes we are healed. We choose to agree with you. So we activate that this morning. In Jesus' name. Wonderful. We drink this cup, declaring that we believe in you, Father. The Word says it. To please you, we have to believe that you are, and that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. So, we say, look no further. We believe that you are, and we believe that you are a rewarder. So we thank you for the blood poured out by Jesus on our behalf. And we drink this cup in agreement, declaring that we believe that he did that for us. And we receive all the good that you have for us in our household. So we rejoice with great joy. Matthew 26, 14. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests. And he said unto them, What will you give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they bargained with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of the week of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The Master saith, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. And began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Judas, who betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? And he said unto him, Thou hast said. Man. Oh, 
I never have understood the Judas thing. <clears throat> what he was thinking and what he was. He I mean, was I know, programmed to do it. I know some of the some of the uh, passion of Christ moved yeah. people say that he was trying to you know force Jesus' political hand. Mm -hmm. That he was trying to get him. Okay, now let's now let's take over this government now and throw these Romans out of here. And, but I don't know. We don't. It doesn't seem to give any indication in any of the gospel accounts why he did what he did. I mean, according to this, it says, you know, what will you give me? It's the love of money. He wanted the, he saw an opportunity to make some, some cash. Because maybe he was in it for the money all along and he thought, well, this Jesus guy isn't going to be the tick of the, you know, the gravy train that I thought it was going to be. Yeah, maybe. So let's get out while the getting's good. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I think it's interesting that all that it says all the disciples one by one. <laughs> Said, is it I? <laughs> Maybe they thought Jesus wasn't going to lie to one of them if yes. all of them asked him personally. If just one asks me, might say something like. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have his classic Jesus diversions and right. dodge the question. Right. Who do you think it is? Or... Well, let me answer that by asking you this. Mm -hmm. Why the chicken cross the road? Well, Father, we don't know how all that went down. Cat Kerr says we can go, when we go to heaven, we can go into the, uh, movie, room. the movie room or whatever and see see whatever events in history that we want to see and then a lot of a lot of our questions will, will be answered and a lot of will come clear but I'm sure we're going to need help uh, in it and have you or the angels or somebody explain some of our the people who've been in heaven before us who've already asked all these questions can uh, instruct us and tell us why all these things happened the way they did. So we're looking forward to that. Sounds like fun to hear, to see and know and hear the truth. Uh, we've heard all these lies all these years from the people who uh, wrote history to suit their own purposes. They didn't, they didn't tell us exact. They didn't tell us what really happened. They just told us what they wanted people to hear, and so because they had an agenda. So, Father, we're glad that your agenda is to bless us, and to prosper us, and to love us, and to encourage us, and to show great love to us. So we trust you. We know the, the enemy tries to lie big time about you, but I don't believe him. I think he's a liar. I believe you. And so I thank you for sending revelation and wisdom to our household. I thank you for sending uh, ministering spirits, angels, to uh, produce release uh, peace and joy and love and, and we really would like some of those messenger angels to show us some really cool stuff 
But we know that every day is closer uh, to the revealing and to your coming and to all the wild, uh, amazing things in the book of Revelation that are going to start happening. So we just declare today, we say, Kingdom of God come and will of God be done on earth just like it is in heaven. That's our cry. That's our statement today. Father, that's what we want to be participants in. And so we just declare that this four acres of earth mm -hmm. belongs to you and is at your disposal. And we'd like to use it for your kingdom. So we thank you, Father, for allowing us to participate with you. We want to be ambassadors for the king and for the kingdom. And we know uh, with uh, ambassadorship comes great responsibility and great privilege. So we're, we say yes to both. So our, our heart's desire is to know and experience you fully. And then we can share that with people. So if we get an opportunity to do that today, uh, even though most Sundays uh, I stay here <laughs> don't go a lot of places but if we do go somewhere today Father we'd love to encourage and, and uh, bless and, ben and have people around us benefit from all the good things that you have for them so we thank you for our hearts being warmed and filled by your presence you promised us, you said you'd never leave us and you'd never forsake us, even to the end of the age. And we know that is true. So we choose to focus on that. We choose to declare the truth in spite of how we feel uh, at times. But we're just, we're just glad that you love us and, and that you care for us and that your heart is on our side. So we decide to make our heart on your side. We're coming with you. <laughs> so, so we say, lead on, Jesus. Lead on, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Lead on, Father. We thank you for this journey that we're on. We thank you for today. You said today is the day of salvation and deliverance. <laughs> so we say yes and amen. It is, and we agree. So we, as, we receive whatever deliverance we need. Uh, I know we need deliverance from being stupid, so we're, we're counting on you showing us wisdom today. We're counting on you revealing truth to us today. And then we, we choose to have joy. We choose to rejoice, to think on the good things today, to think on the holy things and the happy things. Uh, I want to bless my son and my daughters today, my wife. I want them to experience love and peace and uh, contentment and joy. So I want to encourage them, speak life yeah. over them today. Because that's way more fun than to be in the uh, death group, the culture of death that's surrounding us. Uh, the devil loves death. Well. We'll just let him have all that death that he wants. And we'll take life. Thank you very much. So we choose life today. And I choose to love my wife and my son and my daughter. I choose to bless them and encourage them. Who knows what's in store for us today? <laughs> uh, for, you, for you YouTubers, we had a, a family come and give us a car today, yesterday. <laughs> Uh, a Nissan Pathfinder. So what a praise the Lord. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then and then we went and bought a riding lawnmower. <laughs> We've never had, well we have, we had a riding lawnmower a long time ago. It's been like 10 years. Oh, we did? Or longer than that. Longer than that. Uh, so anyway, mm -hmm. so so it was, it, was a fun, it was kind of a fun day. Who knows what's going to happen today. So 
we just thank you, Father. You're, you're so marvelous. You're beyond our imagination, really. So we just are really enjoying you sh revealing yourself to us every day. Because that's really fun. That's really good to see all the things you have for us. So how, I say hallelujah that we're, we get to be your sons and your daughters. And we're so thankful to be part of the family. And we want to be part, we want to participate in the family business. That sounds like uh, fun to me. We know there'll be challenges and we know there's lots of, uh, how shall we say this, devils, <laughs> people that are influenced by the enemy that will try to stop this, but that's okay. We want to be part of the resistance. <laughs> and uh, join with you, Father, and your heart to rescue your family. Uh, you're on a rescue mission. The, the little sheep have gone astray, <laughs> and you're going after the, the one, and they have left the ninety and the nine, and are coming after those who have strayed. So, so we just come in agreement with that, Father. We want to be uh, partakers of that same love, and we want to be participants in, in the rescue program and uh, go out and help people and uh, share good news, share wisdom and knowledge, share all the good things that you've spoken to us. And we want to negate any lie, you know, the lies the devil's got running around and spreading, he's spreading all these lies out there. So we want to be part of the truth patrol and uh, <laughs> seekers. Tell people the truth. I know it's unpleasant for some, but uh, Lord, we ask you to send, send across our path people that need to know the truth, that want to know about you. Uh, you can send whoever you want, but uh, we would really like to m meet up with folks that want to hear. That's, it's always very encouraging to meet people who want to hear the truth and who are seeking after you and how, how happy they are and how thrilled they are uh, when they hear the truth about you. So that's wonderful. Uh, it seems like there's not very many, but... I'm sure they're well spread out all across the earth. They're not all piled up in one one little pile somewhere. They're, uh, it's like when you go to one of these big meetings like for Andrew Womack or Billy Graham or whatever, a whole, the whole community doesn't come. It's like people drive from 40 states. <laughs> they come from 300 miles around. To these meetings or whatever and they're the truth seekers they're the, the people who are seeking after God so I know you've got them spread around <laughs> so we want to join up and join hearts with those who are spread around and I guess YouTube and the internet is like an amazing thing that has brought God's people together so we want we want to encourage those who are seeking after you So we just bless you, Father. Thank you that we get to do that, that, that you've allowed us to participate with you. So we want to do it better, though. So I just got to give my wife and my son and my daughter revelation, inspiration. Revelation. How to do this better, how we can inspiration. How we can help people. Because nothing's, nothing's more, more important than people. So I thank you for changing my heart and helping me see the true value of what you think about people. So we want to have your opinion about people because our opinion gets prejudiced. <laughs> we, yes, we run across people who are trying to hurt us. <laughs> so, so we want to have your view and opinion, Father, of, of people. And uh, I just thank you for doing that for us. For giving us grace, 
Because you said that you make all grace about to us that we always have all sufficiency in everything and in abundance for every good deed. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that abundance to share with, uh, have enough for every good deed. So thank you for pouring that through us this morning as we pray, as we fellowship with you, as we, as we fellowship with one another, as we hear your voice. As, as our imagination is captured uh, by your love and by your spirit and by the things you're going to tell us today. Uh, tell my wife something really cool today. Tell, tell my son. Mm -hmm. And then help us remember to write it down. Yeah, and then write it down and then we can share it with people. Then we can, they can share it with me and then we can, we can just spread it around. That's what we want to do is spread the good news. Uh, you said how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And I, I don't understand that, but uh, that's probably some sort of uh, Eastern saying or something. Because uh, most people don't think of feet as being beautiful. <laughs> so maybe it means even though you have ugly feet, they're beautiful when you're bringing good news. <laughs> it doesn't matter how your feet look, they're beautiful because you're bringing good news. So that's how we want to be today, Father. We want to be looking for the beautiful feet. We want to be experiencing the good news today. And I'm excited. I, you show me all kinds of good stuff on Sundays all the time, so I'm glad to have a day that we can set aside to seek your face and to rest and to be quiet. Uh, and to just enjoy your creation, enjoy one another, enjoy your presence. So we just believe we receive today everything you have for us. And we declare, uh, Father, give us this day our daily bread. What we need today, what we require. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for prospering us so that we can be a blessing to others. Mm -hmm. So thank you. We appreciate it a whole lot. And we want to maintain our focus not on stuff. <laughs> Even though we need stuff. Stuff stuff happens. We, we have to have it for whatever. We want to focus on uh, the intangibles, the love and joy and uh, wisdom and revelation that kind of stuff so it's, it's it's all it's a package deal we want to we want to we want to participate in the whole package Lord we don't want to leave out anything uh, some people focus on one thing and some people focus on another thing well I don't want to focus on anything that's going to detract from enjoying the whole experience <laughs> You said that uh, Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross and despising the shame. Yes, so that's how we want to be, Father. We want to endure whatever we need to endure because of the joy that is set before us. We want to maintain a view of joy. We want to maintain a view of heaven, a view of love, a view of peace of a provision and a view of healing and health. We want to have a, a view of clarity. I love clarity. I like understanding, Father. I like to know exactly what is going on so that we can position ourselves properly with you. We don't want to, uh, like, uh, what was that man's name? Peter Lord. Mm -hmm. we, want, we don't want to be like Peter Lord said, and get to heaven and find out that God doesn't like blueberry pie. <laughs> and we spent our whole life making blueberry pie. So that we don't want that to happen, Father. We don't want to be on the wrong side of any of this equation. We, are, we want our entrance into heaven to be one of blessing and one of great joy. And one of rejoicing. And uh, we want... 
literally millions of people to greet us because we had an impact, because we helped and we blessed and we loved our brothers and our sisters. We loved our daddy God's children. And I, I know uh, because of our give, because of the money we've given to missions and to guys like Reinhard Bonnke and Dave Duell and Bertie Britz and Andrew Womack and people like that and all the, all the ministries we've blessed over the years. Uh, Paul says that we share in the harvest, in the reward, because of our faithful giving. So I, I thank you for that, Father. I thank you for allowing us to participate with you in the kingdom. And we want to do more and more and more. Whatever, you, whatever your desire for us is, that's what our heart is pursuing this morning. And I thank you for revealing it to us. I thank you for showing us our part in, these la in this last day's harvest. We keep pursuing, Lord. We're... We're asking and we're seeking and we're knocking. We're knocking, Lord. And you promised us, you said that if we would ask, we would receive. And if we would seek, we would find. And if we would knock, the door would be opened to us. So that's our prayer this morning, Father, is we want a door open that no man can shut. And we want you to shut all the doors <laughs> that the devil is trying to open in front of us. So we, we thank you, Father, for shutting the doors so no devil can open it and for opening the door and no man and no devil can shut it. And we can just walk right through it. And, uh, Father, if we're hesitant, then give us a little shove. <laughs> give us a little nudge, a little push uh, to, head, to send us in the right direction. I, I think we need it. I, I know I need it. I don't know if my wife and my son need it or not, but I know I need it. And I, I ask and I'm seeking for help, Father. Now my flesh is not too hip with all that. And my brain uh, is out of order, I'm sure, on some of that. But uh, I know that you're aligning us slowly but surely. You're very merciful and you're very gracious to us because uh, we're so dumb or whatever but we know that you're sending us in the right direction so we're confident because the word says the sons of God are led by the spirit of God and, it, and the word also says that you cause all things to work together for the good of those who are the called according to your purpose. So that's our desire, Father, is, to, is we want to be those that love you and are easily led. That you just, you just show us the way, Jesus, and we'll come after you. We'll follow you, Lord. We want to follow after you. So show us the path. You said the, the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. And you said that your word was a light, a lamp into our how's it go? A lamp into our feet a light. and a light unto our path. Thank you. We thank you for the book. Yes, you. We thank you for all those wonderful people who gave their lives so that we could have the book. And so we want to be faithful and share the information in the book with our children, with our grandchildren with our neighbors and our friends, uh, with the people that we meet, our clients, uh, the people we uh, build things for and do jobs for. We want to share with them. Uh, freely we have received and we want to freely give. Uh, I'm sure some of them uh, in their flesh don't want to hear about it, <laughs> but their spirit man does. So we want to be able to share in ways that are not offensive to people because of our own stupidity. We want to share in ways that people can receive and that they can hear what we're saying. And then they can be thrilled and they can rejoice and they can receive. 
And then we, we can be part of a blessing to families. And I, I thank you for all the men and the women who blessed our family. I thank you for my parents and my grandparents and uh, my Sunday school teachers and pastors and nursery workers and ladies who changed my diapers. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think they had pampers when I was a baby. No, they didn't. So the, the nursery ladies changed diapers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure they prayed over us. Uh, we had people loving on us when we were just little stupid kids. <laughs> so I, I'm hoping there's wonderful, saintly, godly, smart ladies praying over us now. <laughs> Because we, we need it now, too. So I, I, I want to do that. I want to pray over uh, all the people in my life. Oh, sure. So thank you, Lord. Thank you for all those wonderful people. Yes. And, and uh, yes. if some of them can want to join our prayer meeting this morning, they can come. Uh, Kat Kerr says they will. You open up portals over prayer meetings and stuff so that the people in heaven can see what's going on. So any of those folks that want to join us this morning, fine. Send them, bring them on, tell them, announce it to them and tell them they're welcome here. We'd love to have them because we, we want to bless them. And uh, I know the word says that until we're all one, the family's not complete. Uh, that those who've gone before us are not complete until we join them. So they're waiting on us. And we're like waiting on, on uh, them, so to speak, too. We can hardly wait to join that throng. Uh, oh, Lord, we want to be in that number <laughs> when the saints go marching in. We want to be with that pile of, of happy folks. We want to be in, right in the middle of the biggest party there is. Uh, well, oh, what a day that is. And it's coming. That day is coming. We can almost taste it, Lord, that that day of your coming. So, thank you for giving us uh, patience and great long-suffering. And... Uh, I ask, Lord, that you give us targeted and directed thinking. That we're not uh, deceived and we're not distracted by any of the devil's lies or whatever. But that we are locked in like a laser beam. Mm -hmm. Thank you for focus. We're a focused Thank on you for exactly kindness. where we are and what we're supposed to do. Because I know we're supposed to rejoice. And I know we're supposed to have fun, and I know we're supposed to love, and I know we're supposed to forgive and all those wonderful things. But if there's anything specifically you want us to do, Father, to participate and to help this kingdom to come, that's what we want to do. That's my prayer. I pray all our YouTube folks, if anybody's listening, and praying with us and joining us, that that's their heart's desire as well. We want to we wanna draw near to you, Father. We want to... Be prepared. We want to get ready for what we're supposed to do. And we want to do it today. Whatever we're supposed to do today, that's what we want to do today. We don't want to get all grandiose and think it has to be some huge thing. We just want to be faithful in what you've called us to do. And if you haven't called us to do anything in particular, <laughs> and we're just supposed to rest and hang out or whatever, I, if that's what you want, that's fine. Whatever. I want to go with you, Father. If you have some uh, huge project for us to be involved in, fine. Let's do it. And if not, fine. We'll do what you want us to do. And if we're just in a, in a pause and uh, events are lining up and then it, it all breaks loose, fine. We can relax. And we, can, we can rest until you show us what to do. That's fine. <clears throat> that's what I want to do I want to be with you I want to come with you I want to go with you if you lead out we want to we want to follow with you 
And Lord, if there's, if there's smart, way smarter people than us and there's way more tuned in people than us, way more people who are listening better than us, and we need help, then send us to them or send them to us. We'll go with them. We'll, we'll help them. We'll follow, we'll follow after them. That's fine. We don't have to do our own thing. We can do somebody else's thing. We can help them. We can be a blessing to them. So we're just, we're just waiting on you, Father, to direct us and to guide us and to show us further what to do. And if we missed our first instruction, God, we want to go back and pick it up and do it and then get the second instruction. If you're waiting on us and we think we're waiting on you, then help us. Send someone to speak a word over us or Holy Spirit, show us where we're missing it. So, anyway, I don't want to be presumptuous. I don't want to think one thing and it's not true at all. I don't want to be led by uh, my flesh or some assumption that I've made. So, thank you, Father. Lord, there's a lot of folks that need your help today. And so we, we just want to start to pray. Uh, and we'll, we'll bid our YouTube uh, friends uh, goodbye for now. And say, have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, if you happen to be listening on Sunday. <laughs> We're going to have a wonderful Sunday today. But uh, we want to bless you and encourage you. And uh, we thank God for you. And we ask that you uh, follow after Jesus today. You follow the, the leading of the Holy Spirit today. And you be a blessing to your family and a blessing uh, to your friends and neighbors and co-workers and uh, all the people that you come across today. And that you uh, take advantage of the grace of God and you respond to His heart and His leading. And whatever He tells you to do, that you do it with joy. And we're, we're all going to wrap this thing up together. And I can't wait to meet all of you and uh, see the, the wonderful family of God. Every part, every, every uh, member of the body. We can't wait to see them. Thank you, Jesus. So how, how great that is. So you guys be blessed today.